So, good day everyone. I'm John Paula de los Reyes and I'm here to show you our activity which is the PT9 um, about attacking a M MySQL database using the um, using this application which is the Cy CyberOps Workstation Running Oracle VM Visual Box. So, the best thing that we will do is we're going to um, check our word. We have here our objectives, background, um, required resource, introduction, and um, the parts of the activity. So, as you can see, we have here our part one, open, war, sharp, and load the PCA file. So, first, we will going to click the application and cyber ops so as we up, uh, click the application we'll also click the cyber ops and then the next thing to do is the war shot so as you can see we have here our workshop network anal anal uh, analyzer and then the next thing is we're going to open the application under the file so here's the open and then for letter d they say browse the home analysis or direct and search for lab support files so we have here our uh we already enter so we'll just repeat it lab support file and then we're going to look at the um, SQL lab data. So in my case, the SQL lab is in the lower part of the file. So we'll just double click. So let's check the another steps. So in letter E, we'll just check the, the capture ended over eight minutes. So we have here the last part, which is uh, this one according to the steps. So, and then what are the IP address? So we'll just click here, enable. Oops, sorry. We're just going to edit our word. So in the question, what are the two IP address export in this SQL attack based on the information displayed. So the first um, source is, um, or IP address source is 10.02.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.
in our application. So the next step is letter C. The attacker has entered a query one equal one into user ID search box on the target 10, uh, 0 .0, 0 0.0, 0 0.2, to see if the application is vulnerable to the SQL injection. So we're just going to look for one, one, when, um, one equal one. So as you can see, we have here our um, ID uh, or user ID, which is one equal one. So then the next step um, tells us to close the follow, follow HTTP stream window. So we're going to close it. And then the second um, one is um, step is letter E, click clear the stay filter. So we're just going to click the filter. So clear the filter. And as you can see, Uh, we already clicked the filter. And then for the part three, again, we're just doing the same thing in the part two. But this time we will um, do that in our, in the number 19. So it says in the, within the workshop capture, right click the num line 19 and do the following, which is follow HTTP stream and also type one equal one in find. And find next. So as you can see in letter C in part three, they say the attacker has entered a Q1. Or as you can see in ID, it has one and or one equal one. So select database user in user ID each box that the target is one at ten point zero point two point fifteen. So as you can see in our screen, um, is uh be done by the ID. And then the next thing we'll do is the data name is DWAM and the database user are root at localhost. There are also multiple user account being placed. So we're just going to find uh, the root um, at localhost, at local which is the database. Localhost, uh, which is one, the local host, and the name is DVWA. So the next thing we'll do is also we're going to close the stream, uh, stream window, and then again we will just um click the clear display filter for the part four um, we will do the same thing in the right um in the line 22 so we're just going to find line 22 right click follow http stream and then put um one equal one in find and find next. So as you can see, we have your IP ID one, um, one, or one equal one. And then, yeah, it's the same thing on uh, the part three and two. So again, what kind of version? So they're asking what kind of version we have. So. Let's check what kind of version 
interested in their part four half. So, um, um, I don't think there's a version here, so that's why there is no answer for this application. So for the close, um, follow HTTP window again, and then we're going to uh, clear display filter. And for the part five, um, again, we're going to do the same thing as well as the um, last, um, last part of our activity, our previous part of the activity. So the next thing is we're going to to the um, line 25 so just click right click follow HTTP stream and then um, and then for now we're going to um, search for the users so we're enter user um, based on the um, description here so find next so as you can see in find next user uh, there is ID which is one or one equal one so as you can see in the letter C attack uh, attack has entered Q one or one equal one So just, he just highlight here until here. And then the next thing we will do is what is the mod modify command of one or one equal union select null column name first information schema column where table name user do for the attacker. So I, I guess it already highlighted, so um, I think it's already highlighted the first or the answer about the question. So let's proceed for the next part of the activity. So we're just going to close this um, uh, follow HTTP stream window. And then again, we're going to clear the display filter. So for the sixth part of the activity, we will going to use the same thing. So we will go into the line twenty eight. Right click to the right click the line twenty eight. Um, click follow and click HTTP stream. And again, find type in find section the one equal one. Sorry. Find equal one and find next. So as you can see for the part six, it's um the same. So um, when the text is located, click cancel and find the text search for. So as you can see, we have the same output of this part six. So the next thing is which user has the password has of 8D35D3D758E2C3966D7EO or 0D4FCC692163. So we're just going to find the password. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the um the user that has 
this kind of password is um is named by one three three seven. So we'll just put the the answer here. And what is use the website such as caritation.net. Copy the password, pass into the password hack cracker and get the cracking. What is the plain text password? So we're just going to open this. And then just we're, go, we're just going to um copy the password, which is this one. Um, Sorry, it's one day three seven. And then what is the plain text? So we're just going to um display the password. And then crack hash. So it says what is the plain text? So I guess um the plain text is will be the color code green attack match yellow partial match and red not um not um so the result is also charlie and i'm just going to copy this And then paste to the paste to here, and then close the um, HTTP. So we're just going to close the HTTP again. And then the question is, what if there is having the platform using the SQL language? So I guess the um having the platform using the SQL language if there is is if there's no um um security uh secured um password for this um platform and also it can directly access the following site or the following um source codes and so browse the internet and perform search of prevent injection attacker what are the two methods of the step that can be taken to prevent injection so we're just going to search for prevent So we have here the injection attack that makes it possible to execute the malicious SQL statement. This statement controls the database server behind the web application attack, can use to SQL injection vulnerabilities to bypass application security measures. They can go around the autonomous authentication and authorization of web page or website application and retrieve the context of the entire SQL database. They can also use SQL injection 
to add modify and delete records in the uh, database. So the SQL injection vulnerability may be affects and um, the website or web application that used to SQL database such as MySQL or Raquel SQL server or other um, criminal may use to gain an unauthorized access to your sensitive data, customer information, personal data, trade, secret, intellectual property, and more. So the SQL injection attack one of the oldest, more preventless, and more dangerous web application vulnerability. The O WASP organization or Open Web Application Security Project List injection is their OWSP top 10 2017 documents as the number one trade of web application security. So um that's all. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Oh, wait,